Hey guys, so today I'm showing you my clean and decorate with me fall decor. I'm gonna be showing you how I decorated this season for fall. I decided to go with a blue, kind of like a sage green, baby blue um, theme this year, different from last year, and a little bit of turquoise. So to see how I achieved this look, stay tuned and continue to watch. Okay, so I'm first starting off outside. I'm just placing my new wreath onto the door. Um, this wreath I got from Big Lots, and that's where I first seen this color scheme, and I was amazed. I just had to have it. So I was originally going to do the traditional theme like I did last year, but something was just like, get it, do this theme instead. Then I'm taking my mat, and I'm placing that. I also got that mat from Big Lots. This sign that says, Happy Fall, y'all, I also got from Big Lots. And then I'm taking this Welcome Autumn sign that I got from Gabe. Next, moving on to my entryway. This is where you first walk in. I have this little table that my mother wound up giving me. I'm just cleaning that area off. Then I'm just adding a lamp. I knew I wanted to have a lamp in this corner. So I'm starting out by just creating a centerpiece. I'm just taking some flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. I think I picked up about eight of these and I'm just adding it to this jar that I also got from Dollar Tree. So I decided to switch the lamp out. This lamp is from Dollar Tree. So the cake stand I already previously had. The turquoise pumpkin and this turquoise candle is from Home Goods. The little eat, drink, and give thanks is from Dollar Tree. And then the picture frame I already previously had as well. front door I didn't do too much I'm just adding a wreath to the door and then I'm just adding a mat as well both of these pieces I picked up from Big Lots moving on to my kitchen I'm just clearing everything off the counter just taking everything down then I'm gonna start cleaning I'm just spraying every surface and then I'm gonna just wipe all of that down So I found this cute fall sign from Gabe's and it matched perfectly. I'm just adding that to the stove with two white pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree. Next, I'm taking these dish towels, the ones with the multiple pumpkins on them I got from Hobby Lobby, the one in the middle I got from Big Lots. So for this side of the counter, I'm creating a tea station, so I'm taking that pumpkin placemat and placing that in the corner, I'm taking my sign that I already had, and then I'm just adding tea bags and some greenery to the area, um, a blue pumpkin that I already had, and then I took that sweet sign, it was a stand that goes outside from Dollar Tree, and I just broke that piece off and just placed it in the middle. Next, I'm creating this little welcome stand. I'm taking another placemat. I'm just cleaning off this um, stand that I got from Home Goods. I already had this already. Um, I'm just taking this little welcome sign that I got from Dollar Tree. Actually, I made it. I spray painted it last year. So I'm just adding in some fillers, so some pumpkins, um, greenery, acorn, and just figuring out how I wanted everything to go and look. So moving on to the table setting, I'm taking this pumpkin placemat that I got from Big Lots. I took a silver charger that I got from Dollar Tree and then another silver plate and placed that on top. The little thankful welcome harvest signs I got from Dollar Tree. And then I just added some little wine glasses that I got from Dollar Tree as well and these little silver pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. Moving on to the living room, I'm starting by my TV stand. So I'm just dusting and cleaning off all the surfaces in this area. So 
So first I'm switching out these bedazzled pillows for this now pumpkin pillow. These pumpkin pillows I picked up from Big Lots and then I just added in a candle in that corner. I also picked up these bags from Big Lots as well and I just added my candle. The pumpkin is from Home Goods, and the candle is from Aldi's. So now I'm gonna take this garland that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna create my own little design with it. So I'm just figuring out how I want it to go across the TV stand. So I'm just gonna be adding flower picks, some pumpkin picks, um, extra pumpkins to this garland. The flower, everything I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just playing around with it. I'm just not really sure how I wanna do it. I'm just kinda eyeballing it as I go. Just trying to figure out how I want it. Um, everything was just kinda placed on here, so they really weren't staying. It just kept falling and dropping. And I just added some acorns as well to this area. So for my glass cabinet, I'm cleaning that out first. So I pretty much left this area as is. I didn't really do too much in this area. I'm just adding fillers in. So I left all the pieces that were already in here as is. And then I just added, like I said, just adding fillers to this space. Everything I did add in here is from Dollar Tree except for the big gray pumpkin. That one is from Dollar Tree. So for my living room area, I'm starting by removing all the pillows. I'm just gonna fluff out the couch and then Febreze the area. So the pillows that I have on those gray chairs, those um, pumpkin pillows with the blue and the turquoise, those were originally supposed to go on my couch, but they wind up being too small. So I wind up just putting those in the chair. Um, I'm supposed to be ordering some new pillows. I just haven't gotten them yet. So I'm just reusing my old ones right now. Um, I decided to just keep the ones I had on until my new pillows get here. And the last room that I decided to decorate was the loft area. So again, just starting off by cleaning um, the surfaces, wiping down that glass table. I'm then gonna remove all the pillows off the couches. Chase likes to leave his toys behind here, so I'm always having to look behind the pillows and just grab them out. Then I'm adding these little gray pillows that I already had. I'm just adding in these gray pumpkin pillows that I got from Home Goods last year. So for the TV stand, I'm removing everything from out of there and I'm gonna clean that, um, the cubicles out. So I had the glam theme downstairs last year. So since I already had this um, pumpkin decor, um, I decided to reuse it and just put all the decor upstairs now. So that's what you're gonna see me doing. I'm just taking these, everything I got last year. So um, this is all stuff I picked up from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington, just numerous places, Hobby Lobby, just all over the place. So I'm just figuring out how I want to place um, all the pumpkins and fillers into these cubicles. Just figuring out what looks the best. My camera wound up dying while I was trying to film how I did the table, but all I did was just add a pumpkin. I took some books that I already previously read, um, added some candles, and just some extra decor underneath the, the table. So this is the final look of the loft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.